So far, all of the applications that we've encountered have told us what the multiplier is when the independent variable increases by exactly one. What if we're told something else? What if we're given a story that looks something like this? At one point in the 80s, computer processor speed was said to double every six months. If at one time you saw a 10 megahertz processor advertised, what processor speed would you expect to see 15 months later? So if processor speed is doubling every six months, right, our variables are P processor speed. That's what's being repeatedly multiplying, so that's going to be our dependent variable. And T, time in months, that's going to be our independent variable. So right now, you see a 10 megahertz processor advertised. Six months pass, and you expect that to double. Another six months pass, and you expect that to double again. And another six months pass, and you expect that to double again. So after 15 months, it's going to be somewhere between 40 and 80. But where between 40 and 80? Our linear intuition might expect that it's halfway in between, but this is not linear, it's exponential. How would we write this down? Well, our final amount, we're still going to start with 10, and we're going to multiply it by 2 to some power. Right. How many times does P double in T months? It doubles once in 6 months, twice in 12 months, and three times in 18 months. How many times does it double? T over 6. Now, technically speaking, I don't need those parentheses around the exponent. The exponent itself serves to group that division, but it's a lot easier to read in this case with the parentheses there. P is 10 times 2 to the power of T over 6. And that still applies if T is not a multiple of 6. So when t equals 15, p is 10 times 2 to the 15 over 6. On the calculator, we definitely want to put 15 over 6 in parentheses. Uh, let's just round it to the nearest whole number. After 15 months, we expect about 57 megahertz. So in general, how do we figure this out? Simply enough, we divide the exponent by the time it takes, or in general by the increase in the dependent variable, in order to get the multiplier to apply once. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make the exponent just count how many times we multiply. If it takes six months to multiply once, we need to take the number of months divided by six. That is, we need to get the exponent to be one when the number of months is six.